The moment I found out I was pregnant, I was elated. I was going to be a mother. This was something I had dreamt about for so long. I was thinking about the little person growing inside me and the family that was about to develop from two people to three. I was having thoughts of pink and blue and strollers and teeny tiny onesies. My wish had finally come true. The love from not only my family, for me and my husband and our little unborn baby was overwhelming. Surely the encouragement from other moms was sure to follow, right? I was so excited about the prospect of this reinforcement. I was in an exclusive club, the mom club. I was going to make so many mom friends and our kids were going to laugh and play together. Then, like that first time I knelt in front of the toilet, spewing my first of many bouts of morning sickness and expletives, I had a rude awakening about not only motherhood, but about that frickin' mom club. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I am still looking for that mom club. In fact, in my experience, it can be defined as more of a mom war. Mom wars. It's plural. You see? It happens from the moment you find out you're expecting, adopting, fostering your first child. Important decisions have to be made. What kind of mom are you going to be? What kind of parenting decisions will you make? Will it be a minivan or an SUV? And once those decisions are made, it seems like the, those are the only moms you are allowed to associate with, be friends with, talk out your parenting dilemmas with, or drink wine with. Wait, you drink wine? Come on. OK, how about beer? No. Vodka? Getting warmer. Okay, I've got it. How about Oreos, ice cream, and House of Cards on Netflix? Talk it. Now you're talking. <laughs> the first time I met Erin was two years ago at a Listen to Your Mother rehearsal. She gave a talk about the perfect mother. You know, all those mothers we love to hate with the perfect houses and the chair of children and skinny jeans. Little did I know that I had met and became best friends with a woman whose spice cabinet could rival Martha Stewart's. When I met Samantha, we hit it off immediately, but we were two different moms. We couldn't even find time to get together. It's like Erin could read my mind. Or your many Facebook statuses. <laughs> For example, there's the whole working mom debate. I am a married stay-at-home mom. And I am a married working mom. According to these mom wars, we, would, we would have nothing in common. I mean, I sit on my ass all day. <laughs> And she has no idea what's going on in her kids' lives. <laughs> and that's only half true. And I mean, aren't we all working moms? I have my kids vaginally. I'm just saying. <laughs> Kudos! Now everyone knows about your no-no place. I, on the other hand, had C-sections. Yet miraculously, Erin and I are both able to nurture and care for our children. Do you want to see my scar? Pass. I breastfed all three of my kids for six months each. My other breastfeeding mom friends insist I feel superior about this. But honestly, I would rather feel superior about my killer wit or my second city alumnus status. And I gave up breastfeeding my kids after a while. But my oldest was reading at the age of four. So, ha, apparently not all breasts are best. <laughs> Don't brag about that. Right. I have decided to send my kids to public school. And my children go to private school. And my private school mom friends insist that I feel superior about this. However, I would rather feel superior about my killer wit or my crush on Zac Efron. <laughs> I have decided to raise our kids with religion. Me too! Really? Yes. Christian? Really? Yes. Catholic? No. Forget it. <laughs> I do not limit my kids' screen time so that I can accomplish simple tasks, like adorable handmade labels for my space jars. And my kids have limited screen time, which explains why I cannot accomplish simple tasks. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? The iPad is my babysitter, and my, my spice cabinet is still a mess. I'll make you labels. But finally, we have something in common. It's obvious Samantha and I make very different choices as mothers. 
but the common denominator is that we are mothers, and that is enough to be in the mom club. We worry, we kiss boo-boos, we hug, we read, we play, we love, and that is bond enough for us. Oh, and Pinterest. You like Pinterest, right, Sam? I made the cutest homemade valentines for my kids' class party. I cannot believe that you are in my mom club. 